Today we are making a video of the oldest temple named Changunarayan in Nepal, in which the history, origin, festivals and present of Changunarayan temple are discussed. The video will be interesting. Watch the full video. First we discussed how to get there. The distance from back to Burdarwar Square to Shangyanarian is 8 kilometers. Local buses are available from Siddhakari to Shangyanarian. And since there is a good road, we can reach there easily. Similarly there is another way to get there. One can reach there from Jokal, Duakot, and Old Femi using this road. Many temples have developed in the newer community. And many activities have been done for the development of domestic and foreign tourists in Bhaktapur. Compared to the past, more tourists come here now. An average of 150 foreign tourists come to visit Changu in a day, while many domestic tourists also visit there. There is no entry fee for Nepalese at Shangyanarian Temple. But SARC and Nonsark Nationals pay Rs. 300 and 400 rupees inclusive of VAT to be paid respectively. Now we enter through Shangyanarian entrance. After some time Champat Ganesha Temple can be seen. In newer community we can see Ganesha Temple in every village. Where Lord Ganesh is worshipped after worshipping Kumar. Lord Ganesh is worshipped at Bratabanda, Gufa, and Bell wedding ceremonies. And the stone stream of Lachavi dynasty can also be seen. Now we find that there is a tap due to the problem of drinking water. We can see. and we can see the Museum of Ancient Art. In the museum, one can observe the history of Shangyanarian Temple, old weapons, many old currencies and tenants of that time. And we learned a lot of knowledge from the owner of this museum. Thank you for this. They are the old currency of Kathmandu, Patan and Bhaktapur. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
This two-story Vishnu temple is claimed to be built in neither pagoda nor shikar style. However, it is in the pagoda style. This traditional Nepali-style temple preserves the history of the Lachavi dynasty to the present day. In addition, it was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979, along with the Bhaktapur Durbar Square. This temple is believed to have been built by King Mandev 1600-1700 years ago. According to the owner of Changa Museum, King Mandev only completely renovated this temple. This means that this temple was already built. <laughs> Oh, older than that. You can see here. Very small chariot with four elephants. It is said to be the world's smallest chariot. Such a small chariot is made because one has to climb a long flight of stairs. There are other five six chariots. They are dedicated to the gods within this temple square. This festival is celebrated in Mata Tirtha Ansi. It is celebrated for two or three days. I will make a special video of this festival. Similarly, other temples and deities can be seen in the square. I will try to put something sweet in it too. First let's discuss about Changanarayan Temple. Changanarayan, the oldest temple, was originally built in the 2nd century during the Lachavi dynasty. In the year 1702, the Shanganarian temple was badly damaged by fire. It was rebuilt after the fire. But the locals said that they do not know about it. Two days a week we can see 10 incarnations by paying some money. We can see 24 incarnations on the tutels of Shanganarian Temple. There are 24 incarnations on the tutels.
four types of animals are kept at the four doors of the temple. There are two lion statues at the west main entrance of Shanganarian Temple. Two statues of Srinya are placed on the north side. Two statues of Saro are placed on the east side. And two statues of elephant are placed on the south side. It is believed that keeping animals in front of the entrance of the temple protects the temple. First a pillar was erected in front of the main gate of the temple. And on it was placed in Garud. After the pillar fell, it was placed next to the temple. And Garuda is placed right in front of the temple. Mandev. A picture of Mandev Bui religious world door religion in Chiang Narayan Temple. Here are the char wives of Mandev. Son of Mandev, daughter, mother, and this goes real Mandev. Third time King Mandev had put a pillar in front of the temple. The letter Sar scribble one is Garu was placed on third pillar later third pillar was broken. Then the broken pillar was moved to the side of the temple. And Garuda is placed on the ground in front of the temple. Likewise, the statues of King Bhupatindra Mala and his Queen Bhavani are kept in the front niche of the temple, which is of brass. King Bhupatindra Mala used to worship the temple. And he also did repairs the temple. That is why their statue is kept here. Speaking of Garud. Garud is the vehicle of Vishnu which is half human and half bird. Garud is placed on the ground in a kneeling position in front of the main entrance. Behind Garud is an inscription. The inscription provides important information on the Lachavi dynasty and on the history of Kathmandu Valley. At the main entrance of the temple, right and left conch and chakra pillars are erected. This inscription is considered to be the oldest inscription of Nepal and the stone inscription pillar was erected by Lachavi King Manadeva in 464 AD. It is because of these inscriptions that this temple is considered to be the oldest. Many letters are also engraved on the pillars.
विप्रो राज रक्षाया वैष्णु भर्तया जेबे सरस्टु डिजा सेवया विशुद्ध यज्ञ द्वारा ब्राह्मण बैटले यु पन्दौ लिपि छु लिपि र I would like to add one thing. On the western wall of the Shangyunarian temple, half of the rice is kept. It has a story. At one time, one grain of rice was enough to feed many people. Once there were many people and cooked two grains of rice. Because of this lack of faith in God, today we have to cook a lot of rice. This half of rice is a symbol of that and a reminder of that. In this way, it was customary to cut rice and eat it. Even now in the newer community it is customary to cut rice. That is, it is called chatagula. Why is it called Shanghainian Temple? Nuars mostly live here. Bahun, Chetri and Tamans also live here. But the name of this temple is derived from the Nuari word. Changda means landslide and very old. As Lord Narayan resides in such a place, it is called Shanghainarian. <laughs> This Changu Hill is also known as Dalajiri Hill. See what the owner of Changu Museum has to say about this. Now let's talk about the origin of the temple. I have tried to present the story that is kept in the museum. In ancient times a Gwala or cow herder had brought a cow from a Brahmin named Sudarshan. The cow herder used to take the cow to Changu for grazing. At that time Changu was a forest of chimpak trees. While grazing, the cow always went to the shade of a particular tree. As soon as the cow reached the tree, a child came out of the tree and drank all the milk. Guala was unaware of this strange incident. In the evening, the cow did not give him milk at all. And it made him difficult to carry milk to the Brahmin. One day the Guala went and told to the Brahmin that the cow was not providing any milk. Brahmin was also surprised to hear that Kapil cow did not give milk. And decided to keep a close eye on the cow.
The next day they observed the cow's daytime activity while she was grazing in the forest. To their surprise, a small boy came out of the tree and started drinking the cow milk. The two men were furious because they thought the boy must be the devil. The Brahman Sudarshan immediately cut down that tree. After the tree fell, Lord Vishnu's head was found cut off. Fearing sin, they began to ask for forgiveness. At that moment a loud voice assured them that. In his previous life he had killed Brahman's father and had now paid for his sin. It is not your fault. Saying this, he also gave a mantra. Since that day, the Brahmin generation has been worshipping Changanarayan and chanting the same mantra. And helping by the Gwala's generation till today. Now let's talk about the temples and gods within the Shanganarian Temple Square. First comes Chinamasta. Chinamasta is Goddess Kali. Goddesses of Astramatica are installed inside this temple. It is a single-story temple. In front of this temple there are two flags with sun and moon and two bells on the right and left. According to a legend, temple dedicated to Chinamasta Devi, who beheaded herself, offered her own blood to feed the hungry Dakini and Varnini. Here I would like to add one more thing. There is also an incomplete elephant statue in the courtyard of the Shanganarian temple. It is said that blood came out during the carving of this statue, so it was left incomplete. Also another thing. It is believed that if a person with body pain rubs on an elephant, the disease will be cured. It also has a slippery part. This is how it became slippery when people rubbed it. For which you have to hold and rub the part that comes out on the head. Kailshwar Mahadev It is believed that this Kailshwar Mahadev was established to save the mountain. This temple is also considered as Pashapatnath. It is also a two-story temple like Pashapatnath. Idol of Narsingha there is a statue of Narsimha. Narasimha is an incarnation of Lord Vishnu. This statue dates back to the 7th century. Lord Vishnu took the incarnation of Narasimha to save his devotee Pralada. The demon king Hridendra Kashya pleased Mahadev and asked for a boon one day. He asked for a boon that neither night nor day nor weapons nor weapons nor animals nor humans could kill him. After not being able to bear the tyranny, Lord Vishnu took the avatar of Narasimha and killed Hariandra Kashyap with his nail while being the sun and the moon. This statue depicts the same story. 
There is also a similar large statue in Bhaktapur Durbar Square. Vishnu Vikrant In the courtyard of Shanganarian Temple we can also find another statue named Vishnu Vikrant. 7th century sculpture of Trivikram Vishnu that depicts the scene of popular Hindu myth of Lord Vishnu and his beloved Bali Raja. Most of the statues found in Nepal are related to religion. This statue of Vishnu Vikrant encapsulates the entire story. But did you know that Nepal's first dated sculpture concerning religion is also of Vishnu Vikrant? Garud Narayan Garud is the vehicle of Lord Vishnu. Garud is a human-faced bird that is believed to be a devotee of Vishnu. This sculpture has been depicted in the 10 rupee paper note issued by Nepal Rashtra Bank. We can also find it on postage stamps. A 7th century stone sculpture of Vishnu riding on Garud. We can also find it on the one paisa postage stamp. Shridhar Vishnu 9th century stone sculpture of Vishnu, Lakshmi and Garud which stands on the pedestals of various motifs. Bakunth Vishnu Bakunth Vishnu statue is also found in this area. It is a 16th century sculpture of Vishnu seated in Lalatasana position on a six-armed Garuda and Lakshmi seated on Vishnu's lap. Similarly, we can find many such temples and statues here. Have a Look there is also a recently opened museum named Living Traditions Museum. Various items, costumes, tools and weapons used by Niwar, Chetri, Tamang and Madhishi are on display in this museum. We couldn't show the interior view as the camera was not allowed. To We can see a banner hanging here. The only forearm temple of Bhimasena in Asia Let's go there too. IT is only 5 or 6 minutes away from here. Thank <laughs> you. 
food. I wanted to make a video about Shangunarian like this. It's just what I'm trying to accomplish. If there is any mistake found, please comment me. I will try to solve it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.